Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Norway. And I am feeling a little bit more energetic today, so we're going to have a bit more energy in our commentary, or at least I'm going to try to do so. Our current plan is to push through Antananarivo and Byblos into Tyre. Now, this is going to be quite difficult. I think I'm in the end, I'm going to skip Carthage and try to just sneak past um, Byblos to get to Tyre. I think going for Carthage is just going to be such a nightmare. But I'm pretty sure if I can get my, uh, do, 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 what are these called again? My bombards up into the enemy's sort of city, city range. I should be able to bring this city down. It'll, it'll take some time, but I should be able to pull it off. Dido's still looking for peace. I am super not interested in peace. I don't think I can actually get my navy down here. Thanks to the ice sheets being a little bit annoying. Oh, there is a emergency for Memphis. Apparently Egypt is in this emergency, but not. Did I already win this? Oh no, I think I won this. So I got 200 Diplo favor. Oh, very nice. Excellent. Problem is Buenos Aires is at war with me. I'm going to put another two envoys in there to make sure that it belongs to me. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a little pillage here, then run away with this courser. Of course, there will be a privateer in the water to cause me issues. Let's go ahead and take them out. Where the hell am I going to get a military engineer down here? You know what? I think I could get one in here. I could either get one in seven turns or buy one in like a couple of turns. Oh, I should have bought one while they were cheap in the last era. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to hard build this, unfortunately. All right, let's start bombarding that privateer with our bombards, of course. We'll take him out. I've got all three of them ready to move forward. And we're not too far away from getting nationalism, which will allow us to combine them together. I'm going to have you fortify there, hopefully to survive a turn. I'm going to want to get another musketman up into a position to take over for this musketman. But for now, things are looking... Handy, dandy, wonderful, and fine. Am I blind? Where's my other great general? Oh, there's Sun Tzu. Yeah, I don't think we need Sun Tzu anymore, so I'm going to actually teleport him back to the capital to get the great work from him. Blind. Mausoleum at Halicarnassus. This is our, like, third wonder that we tried to build in that city. <laughs> and it's not even a wonder that I really care about. I just, I was just kind of, like, rage built it because I was, like, so upset that I lost the other two wonders that I actually wanted. Let's move this musketman forward but to get a pillage. Oh, there's Pio Pio Tahi. Cool. I didn't expect to see that in the fog of war. I'm moving him forward so that he can do a pillage next turn and I can also get two of my bombards up onto the city's, uh attackable tiles. This will make my life a little bit easier with regards to taking Biblos. It is down to 45 combat strength and we'll be able to take big chunks out of it when we attack. This guy also has a promotion which is going to be handy as well. The vast majority of my army though is just kind of standing around waiting for the good times to roll on through when we'll be able to actually make some progress and make use of these guys. Right, we took a couple of shots here, but that's totally fine. This guy's going to take the promotion that will give him plus 10 combat strength against districts. Then we're also going to go ahead and take a shot now with this guy. I also want to get rid of this privateer. I really, really, really need gold to be able to purchase the things in here. I kind of spent my gold though, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a bit of an issue, like a bit of a bit of an issue at the moment. But we are at the very least starting to rip down the fortification health, and I think I'll get started on like building some extra bombards, maybe in Utica once this encampment is finished. I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess we could do that. I could also find somewhere else to build them. Like, there's plenty of places that I could get, ca uh, get bombards out. Did I say catapults? I, I meant to say bombards. Like, for example, over here in the capital, it would be a very good place to get some, uh, you know, frigates and stuff like that. But it would also be a good place to get some backup bombards to send to the west, too. So I'm just going to grab a bombard in the capital and see what uh, comes from that. I would love to trade with Brussels, but I'm a little bit worried about these barbarian quadriremes. So I'm just going to trade with Gen oh, Geneva. is also kind of a scary trade route. I'll just trade with Tana. Military engineer finished and ready. And you know what I could do to get him up to the front line a little bit quicker? If I could find that horseman that has the escort mobility promotion... I could send him over there to pick up this military engineer, get him down here and get this road built that much quicker so I can actually... I don't know if I can even build roads in enemy territory. I suppose this will be another campaign of discovery. Um, do I want to get rid of this jungle? We're not too far from getting mercantilism. We're only 18 turns away from getting it, so I don't know if I want to chop this jungle. It's not, it doesn't really make a farm triangle if I get rid of it, so I may as well keep it. Kind of wish that builders could make roads. Our spy has been established inside of Tyre and we're going to go ahead and do the listening post because we want to get extra diplomatic visibility, which will give us extra combat strength. I should have done this at the start of the turn, but you can see here now in the bottom right, the bombard is doing 73 damage because it has the plus three intel on enemy movements. Ouch, that is a lot of privateers and I'm going to have to deal with those privateers before I can continue on in this game. So I think... Let's at least... Yeah, I need to get rid of those privateers. Because they're just going to kill my bombards when I'm not, like, 
not ready. So these privateers need to go. Let's focus fire on this one. See if we can't take it out. That's going to delay my taking of the city by quite a bit. But I think it's worthwhile to make sure that we get rid of those. Because otherwise, if they kill my bombards, I'm going to be in bad shape. It does mean that we're going to be sitting in range of these cities shooting us for a while. Which, you know, is far from ideal. I'm kind of tempted to put this guy in the water and then move my bombards next turn. Get this guy to, like, eat damage for me. He's level 3, which would feel pretty bad to get him killed. But it's also worth... Well, I need to get a melee unit. Yeah, I don't think I can afford to do that. I just don't like that idea. Theater square on the marsh tile. I don't know why I'm going for a theater square. I was like, plus 3. And I was like, alright, I'll get a theater square. Plus 3. Sounds good to me. You know what I could do? I could run a whole bunch of my coursers around inside their territory. And just pillage a whole bunch of stuff to make their lives harder. And it would actually be quite nice to get some pillages on Biblos. In particular, if I could pillage this holy site it would bring the city's combat strength down by two and i might even see if i can get a knight over to do a similar sort of thing on the campus that belongs to biblos and the um aqueduct as well we need to get all that stuff pillaged in fact let's get you following up and get another courser over here as well now this time i think it's oh my god that is a privateer armada good god how do you have armadas this early did you use a great admiral to get that? Oh god, right, now we need to start hammering the city. I wish I'd shot it last turn when I had less health. But now, because there's just so much damage on the field in the form of these privateer armadas, the only sensible thing to do now is to attack the city. Before, there was like enough to where we could kill them, but it, it just went too far in the wrong direction, and uh, it's just gonna have to result in a little bit of a compromise. Okay, so we're in position to start pillaging these districts next turn to bring the combat strength of the city down. That is good. Man, the city has so much more combat strength since that privateer armada got into the city. Yikes. Pop a harbor down here in Thebes. That'll be a nice little harbor. It'll get us a bunch of gold. Probably won't do a whole lot in terms of winning the game for us, but it will get us along in the direction that we want to. Let's go ahead and pick up ballistics because we'd like to upgrade our field cannons and cuirassiers. Pop another lumber mill down here in Frankfurt. I'm not giving you guys updates on every single little thing that I'm doing because I'm just trying to get through the actions a little bit quicker without having to talk about them. I mean, I'm already 16 minutes into the recording when my recordings are normally like an hour long. All right, so this privateer armada came out of the city. Now, I'm really deliberating if it's worth it to try to kill it this this turn like is it worth sacrificing some of the damage that I could do to Biblos to try to kill this I think it might be worth it to do this yeah I think it's worth it to sacrifice a little bit of the damage from shooting Biblos to make sure that we get that killed so they can't go back into the city and provide it with the garrison that makes it very difficult to kill it we're also going to pillage the aqueduct I should have done that first and we're also going to pillage the um campus to try and bring the combat strength of the city down we can actually double pillage here because this courser has six movement that should be perfectly pillaged, and I should have shot it after I had the pillaging done. But, you know, these are the mistakes that you make. It's not a big deal. We'll also be pillaging this horse tile because we want the extra resources that we get as Norway. Bergen has finished the, well, workshop, basically, and has basically finished everything else that it needs to build. So I think at this point in the game, it'll probably be the right move to get a few builders in here once the city grows a little bit more. But right now, I think it's either going to be a campus or an entertainment complex. The entertainment complex would give the city a bit more longevity and allow it to sort of build up into an even higher level in terms of power. And I could pop it right over there. But the city has already placed three districts. One at one, four, and seven population. So it can actually place two more districts. So I think I'll pop down an entertainment complex and an encampment district. But we'll work on the entertainment complex until we have enough gold to actually buy a tile that's meaningful. All right, the escort courser and the... What you call them? Wait, I don't want it to be with that. I want it to be with the other thing. Yeah, like that. With this guy. I can, uh, <laughs> I can now escort my military engineer to the front line a little bit faster. Excellent. Oh, that's right. I can faith purchase units. Duh. I could just be getting the um, bombards in here just by faith purchasing. I'm such an idiot. That is a barbarian privateer come to cause me some issues. Let's see if we can use both of our trireme uh, replacement units to kill it. And we can. This, that just goes to show how strong these units are. They also have a couple of promotions, which I guess, I guess helped. Biblos, time to bombard you. I'm also tempted to swap this unit back to let this bombard come up close. But the city is so close to death that I think I'm just going to go ahead and hit it and then go straight in with the knight. All right, nice. So we got Biblos down. We're going to keep that city. I'm also going to transfer a new 
person, Amani. I'm going to get that new governor. I'm going to pop it into Biblos so that we can secure its loyalty. And then we'll be able to push on through. And now, like, this is a much easier game, right? Because we don't have to deal with this mass of, like, really difficult terrain that we have to work our way through. We also almost have nationalism. So things are actually going to be starting to speed up quite a bit for us here as we go along. Especially if I'm not telling you about every single little piece of detail. I have, I think, enough caravels at this point. So I might just save up for some frigates okay there is definitely some kind of weirdness going on here let's 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 try to get this right get out of there <laughs> hook these guys up together and then finally i'll be able to get the movement now this guy has no movement left but the courser is bringing him all the way down here not that i probably need the road anymore it would have been a good thing to get him down there like in time for the road but you know eh. what can you do I think for now we're just going to trade with Beijing to get a little bit of extra cash. If I can pick up any amount of money, then I'm happy. Bombard, you should move, and then I'll purchase myself another Bombard. I want to have six Bombards. Oh, I need more Niter. Feels bad, man. Well, I want to have six Bombards because I want to have six Bombard armies, or cores, rather. I have four right now. I think, no, sorry, I have five right now. There's two over here. So I need one more Bombard army. To make my bombard cores. It'll take a little bit of time to heal up here. I'm going to start sending in my cavalry to do pillaging. Um, you are going to take some pretty hefty hits there, little courser. But if I can get enough units in there, then I'll be totally fine in terms of like, you know, taking hits and getting stuff done. I've also got, I've got some of these horsemen hanging around. I think I'm going to upgrade them and then like do a lot of combining together over here. Oh my god, that poor courser took like a ridiculous amount of damage there. Stop asking me for trade for, trades, damn it. This, this courser literally, oh my god, stop interrupting my screen. I want to point at the courser. <laughs> this courser took so much damage just then. Um, I don't know, like, can I pillage and keep him alive? I think I would have to pillage a farm to keep him alive. And even then, that's kind of dicey. Screw it. We'll take the pillage and we'll run. <laughs> we'll run and we'll hope that we make it. <laughs> we need to get as much of this stuff pillaged as possible. So I'm just going to keep sending cavalry in to the enemy territory. Let's keep on moving up our bombards too. They take quite a while to move forward, but in the end, it'll be worth it. Got some infantry too to get up more horsey men. See, I'm worried about using the water because she has had, had so many privateers that it's actually been a bit of a problem keeping my units alive against them. Of course, the military engineer is on his way. Let's get him over here to Utica. Excuse me. Oh, I had the wrong unit selected. Derp. I'd love to be making frigates right now, but it's just not an option. I'd love to be making bombards as well. Tell you what I could get to work on. I'm going to get to work on a crossbone because once ballistics is researched, this will automatically upgrade into a field cannon. Feld Kanonen. I got myself another military engineer up here. I think this was for a similar sort of project with roads that I wanted to do over to Skeed's moment along Shi. Although I already kind of have roads. Maybe this was a dumb move. Kind of want to take some suzerainties here, but I'm going to skip off on that nonsense and just keep my focus on the war. Oh, hey, you can actually do a pillage here and you'll get me some faith, which allows me to buy more units. Wonderful. I can get that last. Well, I could probably purchase it over here, but I can get that la very last bombard. So now I have all six bombards that I need, only a couple of turns away from nationalism. So we'll be able to combine them all together and make lovely, powerful bombards here. Yeah, I'm worried about, again, the water. Yikes. No, they came out of the fog of war to kill my units. Damn it. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Well, I, I didn't know it was going to happen. I, I, I guess that's a little bit presumptuous of me. But I was like, oh man, I really feel like there's gonna something's going to come out of the fog of war and cause me some issues. That military emergency did not pass against me. And we did get a harbor with a starting adjacency of four or more. We didn't fortunately lose that highly upgraded courser only a few turns before we had nationalism, which would have made him much harder to kill. Now, it's a question of whether I want to pillage here if I want to take the promotion. I think it's better to take the promotions than pillage. And uh, we are going to ranged attack the city from the... Well, there's not really a good spot to attack this city from, to be totally honest. Because no matter where I am, I'm going to be under the thumb of this encampment. So I'll shoot this encampment with this guy and I'll shoot the city with this guy. And then we'll look for more pillages down the road. If I had a boat over here, I could pillage that goddamn Kothan. This time I will trade with Brussels. It's a little bit of a speculative and gambling kind of trade, but I'm hoping that it works out. I know I was probably looking to trade for food in here, but money is nice too. Kind of want to go for the Forbidden City here, and I will. It'll take 40 turns, but I think the city could potentially grow as time goes by and uh, start getting this a little bit quicker. Roads, glorious roads. Wait, building roads uses builder charges? That's some BS. Railroads don't take builder charges. What's going on there? I feel like this is discrimination against roads and I'm very unhappy about it. Okay, some of the usual stuff that we need to do, pillage for a little bit of health here. I'm going to also see if I can pillage over here for some culture and for some nice faith as well. Now we don't actually care about Carthage or Kit. 
Kitty. I'm going to call this city Kitty because <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Egyptian language and the blah, 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 whatever these guys spoke, I forget, um, but they don't have vowels. Like whatever is going on here, like it's not that there were no vowels. It's that they just didn't write them down. Like, right? So like, um, like there, there used to be vowels in here somewhere, but they just, the people were like, you know what, man? Stone tablets are kind of expensive. There's not a whole lot of room on them. Let's just like skip the whole vowel thing. <laughs> okay, I think this turn I can get all three of my bombards in range of the city and pummeling it. Now you're gonna take your promotion because I want to keep you alive. I don't, I don't like how high, your, how low your health is. I'm also worried about this um, privateer because there's now three sources of damage on this bombard, which is kind of making me scared for it. So I'd like to maybe see if I could fix that problem. Well, I guess we got a road over there. That was a very expensive two tiles of road. Let me tell you. I'm not even sure what purpose that road served, but by golly, it was. Well, we created the hell out of that road. <laughs> Bye bye quadrireme. Oh my god, is there no end to these quadriremes coming out of this barb cab? By the way, what episode has this thing been here since? Episode one or two? Comment below if you know the answer. Tire. I could start combining these guys together. However, I don't want to combine these guys together because they have the promotions. It would be a little bit silly for me to do so. Let's keep these guys moving. Pop you right there. You'll pop a road down here. Now I don't care. Oh yeah. I don't care where this road, I, I, it doesn't need to connect. I just needed to be able to like get across this river uh, much easier, hopefully with the help of a road. Here comes the triple bombard shot. Kaboom, kaboom, and kaboom. Ripping down nearly 180 of the defenses in a single turn. Excellent work. We did, of course, just finish researching nationalism, so it might be a good time to look around and see if we've got any units worth combining together. There's, of course, probably a few horsemen roaming around. Like, for example, do I have any highly promoted, you know, coursers here that I can combine together with lowly promoted ones? For example, like this. If I take the promotion on you, that'll heal you up. So when these guys combine together, they'll have a relatively high health. And then this guy is like really high combat strength now. You will want to combine together with a relatively high level or just in general. Also, I think combining your units together actually just kind of saves you money in the long run. So it's really just advisable to do so. Like I would love to combine these two crossbowmen together, but I would be missing out on so much experience that I, what I'm going to do instead is step this crossbowman out of the city Faith purchased myself a crossbowman and then combined them together with that. So if we look at this 57.2, boop, uh, it didn't update. What the hell? Okay, whatever. It doesn't save you money. Whatever, right? Shut up. <laughs> I would love to combine someone together with this horseman, so I will do that because this is a nice high level horseman right here. In fact, don't I have a couple of musket boys around that I could combine together? And I do. So these guys are now quite a bit stronger. Also, I'd like another crossbowman to combine with this guy, like so. I want to just combine as many of my units together as possible for two reasons. Um, the first reason is it just makes them stronger. But the other reason is it lowers the amount of units that I need to babysit because part of what's making it so hard to get through the turns is that I had a relatively huge army, which means I have a lot of units to micromanage every single turn. If I don't have to micromanage as many units and my units are more powerful, it just makes the win condition that much more efficient. We're going to get to work on mercantilism, which will give us the camp improvement bonus as well as the ability to build lumber mills. And we're going to go ahead and work our way up towards civil engineering and stuff like mobilization and fascism and all those wonderful late game governments that'll make winning the game easier. We're going to keep doing listening post of course because we want to have as much combat strength by using those to our advantage as possible. We'll also pillage some farms mostly for the health. The extra 15 faith is not to be turned up. Not to turn your nose up at. I, I wouldn't turn my nose up with the extra 15 faith. I'm not really sure how I was going to phrase that. I kind of just went for that sentence and then completely flubbed it. Uh, which you know you can't really blame me for. I'm going to go ahead and take Embalon on this guy so I can kill him. Everything is coming along nicely. We'll start to be able to combine some of these units together. In fact, it's probably um, a good idea to combine. You are the wrong unit class. Right, that's correct. Whatever, I'll just combine these guys together. See, like that. So you can see here, I want to cross the river, but it's kind of expensive and movement-wise. So if I put a road here, I'll have nice little bridges that'll make it much easier for my units to cross. Let's bring this bombard up in range. And then we're going to take the promotion on you to get you healed up. Now, Forward Observers is great, but I feel like Grape Shot just kind of is more flexible. This is nice for range, but I, I don't think range is a limiting factor. Well, yeah, whatever. I'll take I'll take the can attack after moving because that means I don't need a great general. And then I'll combine this unit with you so that you're a little bit more sturdy. And then we'll start bombarding the city again. Now, the city has no defenses, which means I should be able to get some units up here to take it next turn. Or, well, even this turn. So there goes Tyre. Tyre belongs to me now. 
And we're going to have to answer the question if we can actually keep the city with our loyalty. I really should have taken Pingala at some point this game. Usually I would take Pingala pretty early, but I guess I just completely forgot about Connoisseur and Research at this game. Whatever. I guess, I, I mean, really, I should maybe put him in the capital. Yep. Yeah, you know what? I should totally put Pingala in the capital and not use him for loyalty because that is incredibly dumb of me to do that. And I should also take Connoisseur and researcher and it's really dumb that i haven't done that at this point in the game because i completely forgot that those promotions exist although the downside of that is it means i'm gonna have to reassign victor over to that new capital that we just conquered right there and we have it now under our control i'm tempted to take kty kitty I'm tempted to take kitty as well just to make sure that the uh the enemy cannot come back from this and we'll just leave carthage although carthage eh, you know what we'll think about that over the course of this turn now a little spy i shall send you to china because china is next on the shopping block there's the capital excellent get to work over there where's my other spy don't i have two spies do i need another spy yeah i need another spy give me that spy i'd like to build a theater square in here however an encampment would be an equally good proposition and i think it's probably an okay idea to maybe crush a tile that i don't care that much about like this lumber mill is that really that useful or this jungle i guess this jungle does kind of make it sort of like i can put farms together in here but i don't care about that jungle and i want to get the encampment out so that i can start building units so i'll get to work on that sounds like a good move to me no you didn't have enough movement to get, get over there uh, switch run oh he's dead he's dead jim kill this quadrireme once and for all oh i should faith purchase another crossbowman to combine together over here to save on um other things no, I didn't want to give you a name. Although, I guess I mean, in theory, there's nothing wrong with giving you a name. You shall be the Soaring Battery or something. Ah, uh, the Ghost Strikers. You shall be the Red Knockers. Ooh, Jesus, that's kind of, oof. The Hell Blazers. The Brave Blazers. 420 Blaze It. Terrible Horseman. I like giving my units names. I actually, why do I never do this? Why do I never give units names? <laughs> I should totally, oh, you know what I should do? I should, uh, I should get a list of people who subscribe to me on Twitch and name my units after them that would be really cool and i can't believe i haven't done that up until now i'm uh, pretty dumb okay let's combine the pikemen together bada boom and we'll upgrade them to a pike and shot yeah probably at some point in the future who knows when it'll happen but uh, you know at least i have stated that i have the intention to do it all right kitty it's time for you to meet your doom kaboom excellent we've taken a good first shot and we'll take another shot and hopefully this shot shall be all that it needs to completely strip the city of its walls. And then we can bring in our very, very powerful and strong units. Like, so let me see if I can get this to work. Can I get you out of the way? Bring up this guy. And bring you in as well, because you're a little bit more powerful. Oh, there's still a tiny bit of city walls left. Damn it. Makes my life ever so slightly more difficult than it was. Oh well, still get some good experience and get some damage on the city. Now, we've done a bunch of research, let's go ahead and get to work on military service, and then we'll probably go ahead and pick up industrialization or something like that. It really depends, we might go straight for artillery, I think that's kind of tempting if I could get my hands on artillery and oil, then I, the rest of this game is basically trivial. Turn down for what? I'm so sorry. You ever just like misclick, like in a completely dumbass way? I literally just sent my bombard to the coastline for no reason. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, I'm a human wreck. Ping ball, never been hurt at all, something, something. Listen, that, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but you know what, man? Sometimes, uh, like, if there's like a cultural phenomenon, like a song, it, it just gets lodged in my brain somewhere. And then randomly, as I'm going through my life, even though it's no longer relevant to like the culture at all, it will come back into my brain and I'll start like singing that wrecking ball song or just whatever trigger set off a particular song in my mind. I just, I can't help myself. I'm addicted to you because I know you're toxic. No, I'm addicted to saying... <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm addicted to saying... <laughs> I'm addicted to saying, like, I'm addi addicted to singing bad songs. I don't know why. I, I, I mean, maybe I'm being a bit uh, uncharitable to call them bad. Like, songs that I don't think are good. How to be a politician, 101. Say, the one, say something so that it sounds less bad. <laughs> Uh, I'll take peace with you next turn. Okay, who wants the experience the most out of this group? I think the level three guy would, because the close... Well, yeah, I think the closer I can get to him to level four means he'll have even even more range. Anyway, Musketman, go ahead and take the city for me. Let's go ahead and keep the city. It's only 50 grievances. And then I uh, once this turn is over, I'll talk to the... What's her name? She has a name and it is not Gorgo. <laughs> oh, I can get a Colosseum over here. Oh, I could get a Colosseum over here. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Give me that Colosseum. It's not a very good Colosseum. It only hits several cities. One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn it. It's only going to hit like six. It's going to hit like these four cities. Bye bye, little privateer. Oh, I didn't quite get the kill. Uh, bummer. Let's. Can I get you to there? And then if I bring this great general over, you'll be able to take the shot because you'll have three movement. Excellent. So we did get rid of that privateer. Brilliant. So I think now that we have taken over Dido, it is time to get the work on Beijing. Now, I was originally going to go through Longxi because I was planning or, or, or through this direction, at least to hit China. But I'm thinking now Chengdu, Chengdu is looking pretty vulnerable to me from a naval invasion perspective. So that I could probably just kind of get up in here and kind of rush down China before he has a chance to do anything about it. We can very easily push our way through here. Now, the, the only big problem here is that China has a pretty big military. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a struggle, but I think that we can pull this one off. I'd like to start combining some of these knights together, and I think I only actually have two knights, so what I'm gonna do is combine them together, like so. Let us combine the last of our bombards together. So now we have three bombard cores with 65 bombard strength, and we'll be going up against cities that don't have walls, or have below 50 combat strength, so they should fall very quickly. The only problem is loyalty over here is gonna be a huge pain in the PP. And by PP, I mean Ding Dong. And by Ding Dong, I mean Wiener. And by Wiener, I mean Dick. Chini. No, let's not make American politics jokes, right? Let's be careful here. <laughs> uh, I might just shoot my friend in the foot. I mean, pretty sure he shot me in the face, but you know, it didn't. The joke worked better the way I told it, okay? Ah, oh, man. One of my coursers was murdered by boats. Uh, feels pretty bad, man. Let's go ahead and talk to Carthage now. Hey, look, you know, I totally understand. You're totally mad. Give me all of your money. Give me all of your cities. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So I'm at peace with Dido now. And we can start the invasion of China. These Nobody really needs much in the way of uh, health and recuperation. So I'm just going to get all these guys sort of in the water who I want to go, and I'm going to kind of position everyone else off to the side. I would like to bring this Quirus here. I'm going to upgrade him first while he's still on land. Who is important to bring up here? I do want more gold because I, I want to get stuff like field cannons and all that sort of jazz. I definitely think I'll be bringing coursers and these crossbowmen, hopefully once I can turn them into field cannons. The extra gold would be amazing if I could pick that up somewhere. I have no idea how I'm going to get gold. I also can build lumber mills on these jungle tiles now, which is a really big deal. Try and give a trade. I'm going to plug that in just because I'm missing out on a little bit of gold. I'd also like to use my faith here to purchase, purchase myself a couple of traders. Oh, I don't I don't have any more trade route capacity. Oh, well, might also be a good idea to spend my faith getting a couple of units over here in Tyre and in Kitty. Meow, meow. And uh, what do I want to buy? You know, I think I'm going to pick up a Courser so this guy can combine together like a Power Ranger. I think the Siege Tower is probably a little bit redundant. Most of these cities should have Renaissance walls. Oh, this city only has medieval walls. That one has Renaissance, right? No, they're building renaissance walls. You can see there's like bits missing. Another privateer for my collection of dead enemy ships. Into the water, the German bomb... Oh, sorry, uh, I'm not Germany. The, the Norwegian bombards march? That sounds good to me. Away with you, Cuevas here. Yeah, I think I'll bring a... Wow, the coursers, the coursers are feeling pretty outdated. I guess the ones who are promoted and with like really high... Uh, like like a really high levels and are upgraded into like cores and stuff like that. Those ones should be fine to bring along. I guess this musketman is also totally fine to bring along for the journey. These crossbowmen, I would much rather actually get them upgraded before I really committed to bringing them. You would need to heal up a little bit more before I commit. I also want to get these great generals in the water. Are any of these great generals sort of aging out and not being useful anymore? We've got mm, Renaissance and Industrial. And I think you're Medieval and Renaissance. So I think Renaissance is starting to go out of fashion at this point. Although, I still have Musketman and Bombard, so I think it's totally fine to keep him around. Let's just build a great lighthouse. I'm sure that'll be a great meme. Memes. I love memes. Do you like memes? Comment below if you like memes. Don't forget to like and subscribe and smash the shit out of that subscription button, boys. God, YouTubers are so cringy and weird sometimes, man. Just upon self-reflection there. <laughs> I think it's part of the nature of like spending a uh, most of your day. Well, like spending most of your day sitting in a like a mildly dark room talking to yourself. I, I feel like only people who are already a little bit insane are kind of up to do that. And then the other half of it is like, that's not going to like make you less insane if that's what you're doing every single day of your life. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Uh, okay. I have no idea what to do with this city. You know, I'm just going to pick up some entertainment complexes because I'm, I'm really struggling with amenities in a, a lot of my cities. And if I can just take that, like, amenity burden off in a few places, I think that would be a good move. So the most important thing for me is to get my bombards up onto the enemy's land so i can get all three of them up here i'll also bring the quiris here so the quiris here and the three bombards and there will also be the adolphus you're the renaissance and industrial guy he'll be hanging out here to sort of give these guys support and then the turn after next is when we'll declare war which will probably be the very first turn of the next episode if i can get through this turn pretty quick armory completed here i'm going to build some extra queries here it would always be nice to have a few extra tanks in the late game so i'm just kind of just going through and building stuff randomly as i see fit Rightio, we are in position. All of our units are ready. Wait, where, how did you get over here? Did he buy one of the tiles and shoot you over here? I, well, all right, that's fine. Well, we, we've got all of our units in position, ready to uh, engage in warfare. I'm a little bit worried about the number of knights and the uh, crouching tigers and just the generally huge military strength that China has. But I think that we can pull this off. And so I'll see you guys in the next episode when the war with China breaks out. Bye-bye. I love you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please, for the love of God. This is all that I have. <laughs> okay, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, legitimately, this is the only thing I have going for me. Okay, 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 okay. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!